Hello, my name's Jez Albra, and I would like to read to you my latest book, Nat the Cat's Sunny Smile. Nat the Cat jumped out of bed with a smile spread halfway round her head. She packed a picnic snack to share with her friends, Billy Goat and Hugo Hare. With a smile on her face and hamper in paw, Nat knocked, knocked, knocked on Hugo's door. Hugo, she called, are you ready to go? But then, oh dear, Hugo said, no, my ears are all floppy. I've lost my hop. I want to get going, but my body says stop. It's hard to feel bright on a day like today when the sky is so dingy, dreary and grey. I'm sorry, he said. I don't want to be rude. But Hugo is not in a picnicky mood. Never mind, Hugo, said Nat the cat. And she gave Hugo's head a pat, pat, pat. As Nat skipped away, Hugo felt strange, and the feelings inside him started to change. His feet, which had stopped, developed an itch. His ears, which had flopped, now started to twitch. They began to point upwards. They lost their flop. Then suddenly, Hugo went hop, hop, hop. The grey in the sky had decided to stay, but the grey inside Hugo had all gone away. A smile stretched out across his face as he hopped and bopped all over the place. Meanwhile, Nat was skipping along, swinging her arms and singing a song. With a smile on her face and hamper in paw, she knock, knock, knocked at Billy Goat's door. Billy, called Nat, are you ready to go? But then, Oh dear, Billy said, no, I'm having a horrible day today. Nothing seems to be going my way. I stuck my hoof on the leg of a chair. I got soap in my eye when I washed my hair. You better just leave me here to brood. Billy is not in a picnicky mood. Never mind, Billy, said Nat the cat, and she gave Billy's head. A pat, pat, pat. As Nat walked away, Billy felt funny, as light as a feather and sweeter than honey. And downwards from his giddy head, this happy feeling quickly spread until his tail began to flap. Then suddenly, Billy went tap, tap, tap. He pranced and danced all over the place as a smile stretched wide across his face. This day isn't bad, he said. I was wrong. It's been a wonderful day all along. On the path to the meadow, Nat's feet felt sore and the picnic seemed heavy to hold in her paw. As she plodded along her wearisome way, she noticed the sky was gloomy and grey. What sort of a picnic, thought Nat, would it be, with nobody there to share it with me? Down in the meadow, with blooms all around, Nat stopped by a lake and flopped on the ground. The bumblebees buzzed, the dragonflies played, but Nat just lay by the snack that she'd made. She felt like a car whose engine had stopped, or like a balloon that someone had popped. Just then, Nat heard a hoppity sound, and the tap, tap, tap of hooves on the ground. It's us, cried Hugo, but not like before. I don't feel gloomy or grey anymore. And I've lost my grump, said Billy, hooray. After you left, the grump went away. And it's all because of your smile. You see, you passed it on 
to Hugo and me. Let the cat sigh. <gasps> Her eyes opened wide. They seemed to sparkle and twinkle inside. She felt all dizzy, fizzy and yummy, as if someone was stroking and tickling her tummy. Her frown, it turned around, and there instead, a smile spread halfway round her head. Look, Billy, said Hugo, we picked up the knack. Nat gave us her smile. Now we've given it back. I didn't know smiles could be caught like the flu, but he looked at Nat's face and he knew it was true. Nat gave the snack that she'd made to share to her friends Billy Goat and Hugo the Hare, and there, round the blanket spread out by the lake, they nibbled on biscuits and slices of cake. And after they'd finished, Nat made up a song, and both of her friends started singing along. There's a picnic down in the middle today Where the bumblebees buzz and the dragonflies play With three happy friends, Billy, Hugo and Nat What a wonderful picnic it is to be at What a fabulous place for three friends to be By the lake in the middle sitting under a tree where the bumblebees buzz and the dragonflies play where's a picnic down in the meadow hooray they laughed and they played and they had lots of fun as the gray went away in the light of the sun which spread like the smile around the head of nat the cat when she jumped out of bed. <laughs>